Fraser, almost 10 years on, welcome back to Hull City. How does it feel? Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, I've, when I look back at my career, I always look at the time at Hull with fond memories. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm delighted to be, to be back here. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting started now. You're usually linked with a, a move back to the club. Many, <laughs> many uh, seasons that have gone by that you've been linked with. Them. Yeah. It seems to have come a little bit out of the blue, this one. It's, it's funny because, like, the other two times... Oh, tw oh, one time, whatever. It was, um, it was never, f like, f for me, it was never really close for me to come in here. But this time, where, whereas, you know, I was, I was um, definitely going to come here, it's been quiet in the, in the press, so it's, it's a bit strange. But, you know, that's, that's football, and that's the way things go. But, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I can't wait to get started. You had a lot of success when you were last here. Are you hoping for more of the same now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, I've not come here to just have an average season. I just want to. I want to get hold back up to the Premier League like like I did last time. You know, some great lads here. I've had my first training session today with them. Get to know them a bit better, and um, yeah, hopefully over the next few weeks, you know, we can um, get to know each other better and we can put in some good performance on the pitch. Ten years since you last in amber and black. What's changed for you? Uh, well, I've got my hair now, which is a bit strange. Um, you know, I've, it's a long time. You develop as a player. Um, you know, I've, you know, I've, I'm more experienced. I know how to play football better. Well, I think so. Uh, you know, the fans, you guys, the team will see what type of player I'm. Still the same type of player, but you know, a lot better. Did you have uh, any conversation with the manager before signing? What did he have to say to you? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to the manager. You know. Um, I was a bit concerned that his, his English wouldn't be good, but he's you know he's, he's 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 got good English to be fair, a lot better than my uh, Russian. But um, yeah, it was great to speak to him. That was one of the first things I wanted to do: speak to the manager. Uh, so I spoke to him on the phone, and I come out here to speak to him, and he, I've got a good feeling, just like the like when I came the first time and I sat down with Phil Brown and all them guys. You get a feel for the. For the for the place, the backroom staff, you know, the manager, it it's all feels really good at the minute. You've got two championship promotions under your belt. Are you confident of a hat trick this season? It's a hundred percent record at the minute, so hopefully we can I can continue with that, you know, with the help of the lads and um, like I said, get hold back up into Premier League. In terms of your own fitness, where are you at? Obviously you left Crystal Palace at the end of the season. Yeah, you know, I left I've had uh, two months now just relaxing because, you know, sometimes when you you're not playing, it's, it's just as difficult as playing mentally. So it's you know, time to refresh, recuperate and um, get back into it. You're ready to ramp up the training now though and, and obviously a couple of games, friendly games coming up as well, hoping to be involved? Yeah, definitely. I want to be involved as soon as possible. But you know, the medical staff have got to keep an eye on me as well because like I said, I've only had one training session. So hopefully we can uh, get as much fitness into me as possible so I can be ready for the, you know, there or thereabouts to the start of the season. In terms of familiar faces, there not anyone remaining from, from the 2008 squad, but do you know any of the other boys? Yeah, yeah, David Myler, good friends with Myler. Um, he's one, he was one of the first people that was texting me, telling me to, to get myself down here as well. So um, he's, he's looking for a cut of the fee, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, Doss as well, Mace, briefly. Um, but you know, f football is football, you, you get to know people pretty quickly and um, I'm hoping to do that. What are your memories of that 2007-2008 season? It was a historic one for the club. Yeah, it was, it was brilliant. Like I said, some of my fondest memories um, are from that time. So, you know, I remember my first game at the, at the stadium against Barnsley. I remember the, we beat West Brom in, in a massive game there. Obviously, I remember the final where Dino scored that volley. So, it's, you know, there's, there's, there's loads. He still talks a lot about that goal yeah. to you. Yeah, of course he does. That's all he ever says. But um, yeah, you know, Dino's a great guy, and you know, no doubt, I'll have the pleasure of seeing him soon. Are you in contact with any other lads from from back then? I know you were close with a few. Yeah, K I speak to Caleb every now and again. Yeah. Um, Doily every now and again as well. But it's Marnie, I see him as well. He's, um, but yeah, you try to keep in touch with people, but it's, you know, everyone's loads of different places now so it's um it's difficult but you know we have a special bond that group of players because of what we achieved it's fair to say you've made an impact every time you've returned to the club with goals against the club are you <laughs> looking forward to, to putting something in the other net now yeah it would be nice to to be 
back at the stadium with you know the the home fans behind me because you know <laughs> got a bit a little little bit of stick. But that's part of football. You, you give stick, you got to be able to take it, and um, I enjoy that. It's um, it's great. But like I said, it's good to be back back on the the side. Finally, just excited to get started again and raring to go. Yeah, raring to go. Looking forward to you know the first game um, at Villa. So um, yeah, just can't wait to get started.